In this tutorial, I will show you how to create custom buttons that link directly to Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Presentations. Now you might be asking yourself, why do I need custom buttons that directly take me to those services? I already can just go to Google Drive and create those documents that way. And that's true, and definitely that's a good way to do it if you want to keep doing it that way. But let me give you an example. Let's say you're on Google Scholar doing some research. Let's say you'd like to learn about the flipped classroom. You do your search, it brings up a bunch of results, and you click to get one of those results. And let's say now you want to take some notes on what you're learning. So I would like to jot down a few notes, let's say about this particular paragraph. Well, to do that, I'll have to go here to the Google Apps symbol, click, and then click Google Drive. Now, of course, that took me away from my document that I was reading. So I'll just click back and try that again. I'll click, this time I'll right click on Drive, open link in new tab. There's my Google Drive. And then I can click to add a new Google Doc and great. Now I am ready to start taking notes on this document that I found in Google Scholar. Now you probably noticed that took me four or five clicks. It took a little doing to get to this point with the blank document ready for me to take notes. So let's look at what I think is a better way. I'm going to X out of that document and X out of Google Drive. I still have Google Drive over here on the left though. But what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to add a new tab and on that tab I'm going to type in docs.google.com forward slash create. And I'm going to highlight that and then I will copy it and I'll paste that somewhere in just a few minutes here. But for now, I'm just going to hit enter or return on the keyboard. And look, that took me directly to a blank document and I'm ready to take notes on the flipped classroom. Now you might be saying to yourself right now, that's not better. I had to type in this address to get here. It might be better just to click four or five times. And you'd be right. However, because I copied this address, look what I can do. I can just go here, and this is in Google Chrome, but you can do a very similar thing in Mozilla Firefox or in Microsoft's Edge or Internet Explorer or in Safari. But now that I've copied that link, all I have to do is go here to Bookmarks and choose Bookmark Manager. And I'm going to go here to the upper right, click on these three dots, add new bookmark. The name is going to be new Google Doc. And the URL, I'm going to paste in the URL that I typed earlier. I click Save, and I now have a new bookmark. Now notice where it put that bookmark. It put it on the bookmarks bar. And I did that on purpose. That's where I want it to be. Now, there is no bookmarks bar. Normally, there's a bookmarks bar across the top here, but I don't see it. So I need to activate that. Here in the upper right in Google Chrome, I'm going to click on these three dots and choose Bookmarks, Show Bookmarks Bar. And now you can see the custom button that I just made. Now I'm going to right click on this particular button and delete it. I don't need that one. So there I have a button that I can click anytime to get a new Google document. So next time I'm doing research and I need to take some notes, it's two steps only. All I have to do is click to add a new tab and then click New Google Doc. And I'm ready to take notes. Again, the steps for doing this are very similar in Mozilla Firefox, Apple Safari, and Internet Explorer. But the key is just to create a bookmark using the Bookmarks Manager or something similar, and then to make sure that this bookmarks bar is visible. And if it's not, you might have to go over here, you might have to go up here to the top and change some settings to make the bookmarks bar show up. So again, the address that I used was docs.google.com slash create. Now I wonder if it would work for Google Sheets. And the answer is yes, it will. So I'm going to do the same procedures, except this time, instead of docs.google.com slash create, it's sheets.google.com slash create. So I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to paste it in. Let's see if it takes me to a new spreadsheet, and it does. Now, how do I get that here as a button? If you remember, it's as simple as going to, at least in Google Chrome, the Bookmarks menu option, choose Bookmark Manager, Make sure you're adding it to the bookmarks bar and go here to these three dots. Add new bookmark, new spreadsheet. 
I should say Google spreadsheet. Paste in the address, click save, and there it is. As you can probably guess, it also works with Google Slides. So I'm gonna try it this time, except with slides.google.com slash create. And I'll just paste that in, tap return or enter on the keyboard, and it takes me to a completely blank Google Slides presentation. So here in the bookmark manager, I wanna save that. So just like before, add new bookmark, new Google Slides, show, paste in the address, click save. So let's say in a month or in a week, I go in and I open up my browser, I should see these buttons and they should be there always. And so now if I'm online and I find myself in need of a presentation, a spreadsheet or a document, all I have to do is click and it opens up and I'm ready to go. Now, just so that you know, it is possible to create folders for these buttons on the bookmarks bar. I can just right click here on a blank part of the bar, click add folder. I could call this Google Drive and save it. And then I could just click and drag and drop these buttons into Google Drive. So now I've got them all there nice and neat and they don't take up much space. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please click the like button below and consider connecting with me on my social media websites like Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. And definitely do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos about technology for teachers and students. And when you do subscribe, please consider clicking the bell next to the subscribed button. And that will make sure that you get notified about every new video that I post. And watch for another video from me at least every Monday. If you'd like to support my YouTube channel, please consider becoming a patron of mine through my Patreon account. And you can find links to that in the description below.